Well, Sydney's big weekend of racing and sport continues on Monday with another meeting here on the Kensington track and I'm here with Navesh Ramdani, the Royal Roundwick track manager and just to talk us through how the Kensington's coming along. Uh, it's had three race meetings and lots of trials. What state's it in? Yes, Brett, so we're uh, very happy with the track. Obviously it was uh, rebuilt and uh, the completion was late last year. In December it was totally rebuilt. Uh, we've had three race meetings on it. We've had a number of barrier trials and multiple gallops on it and it's stood up exceptionally well. The first difference you'll see is uh, obviously the colour of it. So we haven't oversown it with ryegrass this year. So this is what you're seeing is, is just straight kaikuyu in its uh, natural form. It's a male sterile kaikuyu which is exactly the same as all the other tracks uh, in Sydney. Uh, and look, through the winter it does go into a little bit of a, a flat spot or a dormancy but given that it's now September you can see it's starting to green up and it's just breaking that dormancy now and, 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 and we're starting to see some recovery. And as far as the profile itself, uh, as you know we had a Strathair profile in the previous uh, Kensington track so we've uh, ripped that all the way down to the base and we've virtually started again from scratch with a profile that is very similar to uh, Canterbury, which is a, a sandy loam. Uh, the fundamental difference really is the, the fact that there's no artificial reinforcing. And the Strathair had uh, the Netlon mesh in the profile. This one doesn't have it, it's a, it's a, it's a more natural profile. Uh, and of course the difference is in the grass type itself. The, the old Kensington had something called a village green. And uh, what we have here is a Kaikuyu male sterile, which is uh, the traditional Kaikuyu grass. And it's been exceptionally uh, well received by everyone who's used it, jockeys and trainers alike. And uh, we've had really positive feedback from those three race meetings. Yeah, so as you say, it is a completely different track. You can't really compare it to its previous track and the service that it is. And that feedback's been very important. Um, how do you think it will go on as the, as the rain falls? How will it handle wet weather? And Sure, and look, given that uh, the last grass was really only planted in, uh, in the middle of December, uh, it's still a very juvenile plant. There's a, a lot more maturity uh, to come from it. So given the positive feedback we've had so early in its life, uh, you know, it's been, it's been really good. And, and I can say that uh, once this grass starts to mature, uh, this track's only going to get better. It drains exceptionally well. You know, uh, all of the signs that... Uh, we've seen has been incredibly positive. Uh, it's still got a, a long way to go before we, we get to that maturity, but I can say that uh, you know, it's certainly been a very positive start to its life. Yeah, and many meetings coming up now as we get into the, the summer months and the twilights? Yeah, we've got three in October, and uh, we have a twilight meeting towards the end of November, and, and that's really exciting to bring those twilights back. Those Friday afternoons were starting to get very popular, and uh, you know, it's just great to be racing that time of the year. Yeah. Well, Navesh, as we say, the race is racing here on Monday on the long weekend for the public holiday, and this track is really starting to come into its own. Uh, we look forward to seeing it in action again. Thank you very much, Brett.